Ooh. Ooh. When you start learning more tricks about the camera. <laughs> okay, also, I have the camera today. By the way, it's quite exciting. But, okay, okay, okay. No, no. Even if I slouch, you won't know I'm slouching because all you see is this. This. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Uzo Alexander and you're a bit high right now. You're sitting a tad high, but that's okay. I've just tried to do the camera and I think I got it this time. I'm gonna make it a little higher. Maybe I should. There we go. That makes it a little even. I... I'm coming to you guys today, honestly, with a level-headed versus reactor and self-confidence and just saying fuck it at the end of the day. Um, So it's just practicing the skills of these three things I think are very key skills to the survival on this planet. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, I'm not stating that I am, I do know any of these. I'm just stating what I have learned, what I'm learning and things I would recommend. Level-headed versus reactor. There are two different types of people on this planet. And it is quite obvious to know who is who. The problem is, there's no problem really actually there's no problem there's no problem with being just a reactor because there's absolutely nothing wrong with wearing your heart on your sleeve and just expressing yourself all the time anytime sometimes it is od but i don't think it is detrimental to you as a person but i would like to be more level-headed and the same thing about being level-headed it's like nobody can ever read you nobody can ever understand how you're feeling genuinely you don't even understand how you're feeling you know so Sorry if I added somebody, whoa, that was not my intention. But I'm trying to say that I personally would like to become less of a reactor and more of a level-headed person just because I react a lot. I've always been a reactor. Having a balance between the two is really, is really key. So you're able to be in touch with your emotion, but you're also able to have a very logical approach to your next decision, your next action, your next move without that action being detrimental to your future. Does that make sense? So like if you're a reactor and something you do, say whatever, um, comes in the way of like future things just because you were not able to be level-headed. And I think being level-headed is 50-50. It needs to be 50-50. Do you get me? So I think the first thing to do is separate yourself. Sorry, I have my journal here and this is my journal. I, I have my phone as well, but you, I'll talk about why I'm using, I use my journal. But the first thing I think is to separate yourself from your emotion. I think we... Not you. I think we <laughs> should separate ourselves from emotion. I mean, half the time you can say that separating yourself fear from your emotion is better, but I don't know. So I think that's that. But from that statement, to branch off is journaling and keeping track of your emotions. So not necessarily for you to, to get it. Hi, sweetie. Um. So I said to journal and keep track of your emotions slash don't forget them. I wrote, don't forget them, but do not use them as your way of life. But what I'm trying to say is that if you're feeling a type of way, it is not that you should not, you should think of yourself to, if you shouldn't. I forgot what I was saying. No, I was just saying it completely. I was saying that if, when you do feel your emotion, I think you should take a second not use that emotion as your response that you should always keep track of it either journal or just keep track of it in your own way to be able to um what what am i saying to be able to just you know understand yourself go back into it at the end of the day you know you remember why you were feeling this way or this way and you wanted to do this 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 this, this. so you write all this down keep track of it and then you take a second by yourself with yourself and just understand why you felt this way and if you do feel as if the way you wanted to react would have been more appropriate or you know you still want to have a conversation about it and you still want to be able to you know talk about this emotion you're able to explain the emotion you were having behind it and why you were having that emotion you know for whatever reason it may be if it's hard to keep aside if it's hard for you to keep your emotions in check and it is something that you know it's just something you have you struggle with do you get me i think making <clears throat> it known to whoever it may be you don't want to react to and to yourself that um that you need a second 
on, to get on track so it's like if you need a second because you think you cannot control it an emotion coming out which you would like to control ask for a moment and take a second and you're allowed any second and every second you want and believe you need to have you are allowed to have every second you need and want and no one is allowed to tell you no you can't get a second you can get a second if you need a second <laughs> Okay, so I think you should always talk and always talk, 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 talk before. Communication before action. Communication before action. Communication before action. Communication before action. You get me? I think it's, that is key. You need to talk, 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 and talk about how you feel. I think you need to talk about everything before an action is involved. I don't think that's really hard to explain. I think that is as straightforward as it gets, and that is what I mean. Um, so, now I'm going to be talking about self-confidence. Sorry, my brain is completely fried. Not fried, but I'm just, my brain is not working today. I forgot to take an iron pill last night and I slept 12 hours. <laughs> I woke up at 3, 3.20 or something. I had so many things to do, but I did them very late last night so that I wouldn't have to stress too much about doing them today. So I'm a little slow today. I'm a little dead today. And I may even end up having to refilm this video. I cannot even lie to you. But, and if I like what I see, cool. So if my energy is down and everything, it is because I literally do not have any iron in me and I, um, I'm pushing buttons. <laughs> so what I was talking about self-confidence, I think, hmm, hmm. I think the self-confidence and just it really has a lot to do with one another. They really, they really are, they're best friends, you get me? There is a level of you should genuinely give. It is not healthy to not give a fuck, but it is also healthy to give, it's only healthy to give certain amounts. Nothing, you can't not give a fuck about anything. Like, as much as you can convince yourself and say, I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck, you give a fuck. You care. You actually care. And the more you say you don't care, the more it seems that you do care. You get me? You get me? So it's just really to live your life and that sounds so cliche and that sounds like every other story on every other book and page. And it just doesn't I say just oh just be yourself and go buy it. But truly that really is it. It's do whatever the fact you need to do. Two things that I genuinely, genuinely I swear by. One is I really do not care what is on my body. I do not care about what is on my body. I don't care to wear bras. I don't care to I don't care. Do you know what I mean? I do not care. <laughs> and it's not even that. I don't care in the sense it's just like nobody is really going nobody gives is paying as much attention to you as you think you're is being paid does that make sense even the people around you all the time even if they like whatever or don't like it what and what do you know what I mean like what are they genuinely gonna do about it but to speak to you if they say whatever they need to say and you don't like what they need to say you can be like okay and then continue because what they they are not physically gonna stop you from doing it you know so it's not move recklessly don't don't disregard opinions but if it's not life-changing and if it's not something with 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 a proper base there's ways to everything that you can get out of everything that sounds real messed up wait 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 no 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 no. i mean there are ways to do things there's various ways to get through life and do things do you know what i mean if there is always a loophole you just have to find it and if you like what you see and if you don't care enough then you will really just go by your own thing self confidence has a lot to do with how much time you also spend with yourself prioritizing others and overly indulgence of like with friends and with humans and with other people you know like obviously your environment has a lot to do with who you are as well but also it's how much of yourself you're also willing to take do you know what i mean like if you can't be by yourself and hang by yourself for forever then it's it's not it's not gonna it's not gonna it's not it's not connecting it's not going to connect you know what i mean like it's actually not gonna connect so it's if you're able to spend time with yourself and just really be like okay whatever like i'm calm because your environment i feel like has one of the biggest positions in your life subconsciously do you know what i mean like if you have a lot of people around you all the time that you don't even clock the fact that your personality is almost kind of based off of the people you're around all the time do you know what i mean like everybody kind of again you know i think everybody knows this but 
everybody around you kind of represents a part of yourself does that make sense so the people you keep around you are like reflections of little bits and pieces of yourself but if you're not able to clock all those by yourself and understand every, your part in every place and you know you're all rounded well like if you're not able to like clock things about yourself all rounded then you know what I mean I think that's where everybody should start truly I think it needs to come from here and then there not there to here those are the main things honestly I'm gonna see how this video looks and I hope it looks nice because Thank you guys for watching. It means a lot to me. Um, I hope I wasn't too awkward. I'm really trying not to present, but it's hard. It's low-key hard, you get me. And I need an iron pill, so please forgive me for this video if it is a little out of out of whack. I'm gonna edit it real nice, so it's gonna be okay. I hope you enjoyed a little bit the little bits and pieces I had to offer about being level-headed and a reactor compared and also self-confidence and just saying if you want to see more videos on like self growth and self 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 care and self growth that is not just physical but it's also very much mental and emotional i love i would love to have more conversations about this i would like to do more polls and just all around just more stuff that is based on this because i think this is the core of you this this knowing these things are the core of who you want to be and who you are now do you know it is you working on yourself and the more you work on yourself mentally and emotionally the more it'll show physically in your work in your career in your day-to-day -day lives friends family and everything the more you work mentally and emotionally the easier it is for you to cope with outside does that make sense that is a great statement are you kidding me someone needs to quote that <laughs> but I'll see you guys next Monday or next Tuesday if I decide to take my iron pill. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for Mo. FOMO. Comment down below self-care tips that you have for yourself and for others. Yes, I'd like to know what you guys think about stuff like this. I'm going to do more polls on Instagram as I said before and just make it, I think, a broader conversation, do you know? But yes, thank you guys for watching. Bye. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.